And now I want to turn our attention to infections. We've all heard about the overprescription of antibiotics, and the tide seems to have turned just a little bit in that area. The question I have for Dr. Morton is, how does it fight bacteria? What science has been able to demonstrate up to this point is that the xanthones and some other uh, molecules known as polysaccharides in the pericarp of the mangosteen fruit have been demonstrated to uh, have an antibacterial property and to be able to kill certain types of bacteria. What science has not been able to demonstrate up to this point is by which mechanism this is done. But as I mentioned previously, the xanthones and these polysaccharides have been demonstrated to stimulate uh, immune cells, cells that are called uh, phagocytes, which means eating cells. These are immune cells that will find bacteria, grab them, and eat them. And so the xanthones and polysaccharides have been demonstrated to stimulate phagocytes and to also cause bacteria to be inhibited, meaning they cannot secrete their toxins and they cannot replicate like they regularly would when they enter inside the body. And uh, as I mentioned before, this includes um, in, in the Petri dish, uh, H. pylori, Staph aureus, uh, Salmonella, and uh, the uh, Mycobacterium. The Mycobacterium. Mm -hmm. Mycobacterium. And so it's definitely shown there's antibacterial properties. Mechanism is still yet to be demonstrated.